In this video, I will show you how to find Windows 10 product key. If you do have any questions or comments regarding this tutorial, feel free to drop that down in the comment section down below the video. And with that being said, let's jump straight into it. So here we are, as you can see on my desktop. Now there's two different methods that you can use to get your product key. So the first method is from your desktop, what you're gonna want to do is come down to the bottom left hand corner and in the search box, you wanna go ahead and type CMD. Now what you want to do is open up the command prompt app, make sure to right click and run this as an administrator and that's going to go ahead and open up the command prompt. Now what you're going to want to do is go ahead and paste something into here. So what I will do is leave this command in the video description down below but it's this one at the top which is WMIC Path Software Licensing Service get and then you've got the original product key. So what you want to do is go ahead and copy this from the video description down below and then just paste this into here and and press enter. So what it's gonna do is try and locate the product key. Now this doesn't always work because sometimes if you purchase like a digital product key, like an OEM license, then there is something else you need to do to get your product key. So if that didn't work for you, then what you can do is just go ahead and type exit and press enter to come out of the command prompt app. So here we are back on the desktop. So the second method to get the product key is to come down to the bottom left hand corner and what you wanna do is right click onto the Windows start icon down here then on this menu that comes up you want to go ahead and select run from here just go ahead and type reg edit into this box and then press ok and if it comes up with a permission make sure to select yes so you can go into a screen like this now what we're going to do from here is basically we're going to go into a specific folder which is going to have our product key so i've actually got this here again what i will do is leave this in the video description down below as you can see we want to go into h key local machine then software then microsoft then windows nt current version and software protection platform that is where we are going to find our key so if we come back to the registry editor you can see we've got h key local machine here so what you want to do first is go ahead and click the small arrow next to this then come down and click the arrow next to software and then what you want to do is come down and find microsoft and then give the arrow a click next to microsoft after this, you want to find the folder called Windows NT. So this is in alphabetical order. So you just need to scroll down until you get to W. So there's quite a few folders in here. So it's not actually Windows, it's the Windows NT folder. So this one here, go ahead and click the arrow next to that one. Then what we want to do is click the arrow next to current version. And in this final folder, we want to scroll down until we get to software protection platform, which is just here. When you get to this folder, just click onto the actual folder itself. Don't click the arrow. And when you actually click onto this, you're going to see a file name in here called bad backup product key default. Now, if you look to the right of this under the data section, it's going to be your product key over here. Of course, what I've done for security, I've blurred mine out and you can only see the first few digits of my key. But this is where you would come to find your Windows 10 product key. So with that being said, I hope this tutorial did help you out today. As mentioned, I will leave these in the video description down below so it makes it easier for you guys to find your product key. If this video did help you out today, I would really appreciate it if you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. And with that being said, I will see you in the next tutorial.